What's going on? How are you guys today? Welcome back to Best Burger Reviews, where we rate the best burger at a particular establishment. Today we are at Boucherie, not to be confused with Bouchon, which is uh, actually two blocks down the street. This place is very, very high end, like beautiful, immaculate kitchen. You would think it's like a Michelin restaurant back here. And this is also like one of the most expensive burgers we've had in New York so far, despite them not being uh, known for burgers. We're, we're actually still waiting for Union Square Cafe to open, which we mentioned in our last video. And I think in the 20th episode or so, I touched on the rating system, how each of the components has to be high quality. But you know, when you do have that fresh bun, the high quality raw local cheese, and, and the freshly ground meat, every, every component of the burger is just more complex and delicious. It's like you can eat it on its own. You can take that bread on its own and it tastes good. The cheese on its own tastes good. The meat on its own tastes good. And then when you combine them all, it's something really special and unique. Each ingredient on its own, if it's delicious and you combine it, that's where we might see something special. Hasn't been the case yet in New York. We got the burger. They probably don't do too much takeout, um, at least like that, people walking in. Yeah, they have their shit together. I didn't expect fries to come out of a kitchen looking like that to not be good. They're okay, Rio. They're, they're, they could be crunchier. Plenty of salt. They got the salt right. These are good. 7.5 on the fries, good. Only decent fries so far today. Actually, Petey's wasn't bad. These are actually, now that I'm tasting these, you can tell these are made fresh. They have a bit more chew to them. Actually, really good fries. I just don't like going above 7.5 unless there's something special. Here's the thing though, like some of these are crispy, some of these fries are like an 8. Good fries, that's the point, good fries. This is not Frankie's Fry Reviews. That's next. And that's when we go to Canada for the poutine nonsense. The, the ve dude, the veg in these French restaurants, I'm impressed, they got some fresh stuff. Look at that tomato and lettuce. Look at that piece of lettuce, man. That's fresh. I'm impressed. For New York. Smells excellent. Um, this might be some of the best cheese we've actually had because they put some legit French cheese on this. We got the fancy stuff. Enough grease to uh, make my face look even more Italian. very flavorful probably some of the most flavor out of any cheese I've had in New York I said that um, I had a feeling this cheese was gonna be really good I was right now what aggravates me is they murdered this burger man I ordered this medium rare and it's this is way over this is well done you know I'm actually disappointed because this might have been one of the um, the best burgers we've had so far in New York If they didn't overcook that patty so much, without a doubt, in the eights. One of the best burgers we've had so far. Unfortunately, I have to take that into consideration. And I'm gonna give this a 7.8. I think this is the best bun. The best bun we've had so far. Best cheese we've had so far. Tomato and lettuce, perfect. Amazing, amazing burger. Definitely check out Boucherie. If you're gonna spend $30 for a burger, this is where you would spend it. Order the burger rare. And yeah, I mean, look, if I, if I was served this in a restaurant and I had time to wait and dine and stuff, I would send this back and just get them to redo the right temperature. So I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna say what I would have rated it if the meat was rare, because I can't really accurately do that, but seven, eight with the well done patty, definitely try this place out. Maybe they'll do better with you. But if you want to cook your own burger patty, you can go to frankiesfreeinchmeat.com and try our custom burger blend, which is actually, it's actually impossible to overcook it. I've infused my magic into the burger blend and you cannot overcook it. So we also have a variety of high quality cheeses that you can pair with your burger. frankiesfreeinchmeat.com. Thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you for the next review.